Celebrating at home or at one of the many fine hotels, clubs, or restaurants, Canada Dry adds joy and sparkle to your festivities. Canada Dry is a real ambassador of holiday spirit. This program stars Jack Benny, the Canada Dry humorist, and Ted Weems Orchestra. And Ted Weems opens the program with Rise and Shine from Take a Chance. <laughs> the other programs on the air tonight, I want to wish you all a very happy new year. And before going any further, I'd like to present to you our first guest star of the evening, who must rush away as he is a day late now. He has graciously consented to say his last few words on the Canada Dry program, and I now take the honor and pleasure in introducing to you that genial old gentleman, Father Time of Times Square. Father Time. Ladies and gentlemen of the Canada Dry audience, I am Father Time. <laughs> oh, he's laughing, folks, but he's worried. <laughs> of course you know, friends, that yesterday was to have been my last day on this earth. Mm -hmm. But owing to a very special request made by our good friend, Mr. Benny, I postponed the occasion until tonight. That's darn sweet of you, Dad. Don't mention, Don't mention it, Jack. I just want to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, that I did the best that I could these past 365 days mm -hmm. to bring cheer and happiness into your lives. Mm -hmm. Of course, I've missed the spots. I'll say you did, Pop. <laughs> but at least I made the effort. And now all I can say is that I wish you all a very happy and prosperous... Oh, I'm getting weaker. You better take the microphone, Jack. Brace up, old man. Brace up. Oh. Paul, Paul, quick. Give him some ginger ale right away. Here you are, Father Time. Take a sip of this Canada Dry ginger ale. Made to order by the glass. Quiet, Paul. Here you are, Dad. Now, now, how do you feel? Hello, everybody. It's 1933, and where are the gold? Another victory for Canada Dry. Great. Ah, uh, so you're 1933, eh? Yes. Say, will you do me one favor, 1933? What's that? Please, in this coming year, we don't want to hear any more about Gandhi going on diet. Okay, Jack. Hooray! <laughs> well, well, anyway, folks, this is a new year, and we're all happy. But personally, I'm glad that the excitement is over. I really am. Well, Jack, you talk as though the holidays were a big strain on you. What did Christmas really cost you? Well, to tell you the truth, Paul, I spent a lot of money. 
I mean, like a big fool, I bought handkerchiefs for Durante, earmuffs for Gable, and a pair of shoes for Garbo, you know? I mean, that would break anybody. And by the way, Paul, that was a nice combination greeting card you sent me. Well, it was just a single card, Jack. Well, I mean the combination of thoughts, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Easter greetings. You forgot to mention the 4th of July and Columbus Day. Jack, well, anyway... Jack, hmm? did you make any resolutions this year? I made one, Mary, and here it is. Resolve that I, Jack Benny, shall during the coming year refrain from smoking, drinking, swearing, and staying up late at night. You really mean that? I certainly do. Then you might as well take this crocheting outfit. You'll need it more than I will. <laughs> you know, Jack, I made some New Year's resolutions, too. Yeah, what were they, Mary? Well, I hereby resolve to stop going out with other fellas to make you jealous. Mm -hmm. Except Elmo, Red, and Parker. I see. Because I think they're swell. That's nice, Mary. You'll be the lone wolfess. <laughs> I'm not going to be narrow-minded, Jack. During the coming year, you can buy all my dinners. I can. You resolve that, Mary. Uh-huh. Well, dissolve it. See, a girl can't even make a resolution. No. Say, Jack, I made a resolution, too. What is that, Ted? I hereby resolve during the coming year to stop lending people money. <laughs> Not because you owe me five dollars, Jack. Don't get me wrong. No, 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 no. Sure not. Go right ahead. I hope Ted. I haven't offended you. No, Ted, but if I don't speak to you for the rest of the year, don't think it's on account of this. You know. And Jack, what? I made a resolution too Why, Andrea, I don't remember borrowing any money from you Oh, I wasn't going to mention that, Jack oh. But I resolved to sing more and better songs during the coming year I thank you You're welcome, and she will huh? That was good, Andrea Say, Paul, what did you resolve? That Canada, Canada Dry is the champagne, champagne of ginger, ginger ale And you'll get a better nickel back on each large bottle huh? Ted, I resolve that you play something before Paul makes any further resolutions Outstanding achievements and personalities of the past year. We are very fortunate tonight in having up here some of the unusual guest stars who have appeared on our Canada Dry program during the year 1932. Of course, you all remember the marvelous tribute paid to Miss Amelia Earhart last summer, following her history making solo flight to Ireland. Thousands of people lined the street and showered her with ticker tape. And when she picked up the ticker tape and saw how her securities had dropped, she wanted to fly back to Ireland. Well, anyway, with all due credit to our courageous heroine, Miss Earhart, we have with us this evening a young lady who also deserves honorable mention. A lady who not only flew to Ireland, but upon reaching Ireland, immediately swam across the English Channel and got to France just in time to win the Ladies' Open Golf Championship. What a flight, what a swim, and what a game. Now, in the golf match, she uh, went around the Patty de Fogras course, uh, making the, uh, yeah, I can hardly pronounce that. Making the round of 18 holes in 21. 17 holes in one and one birdie. Now top that, all of you golfers who talk a good game. And now we will have a few words from the champion of champions, Miss Violet Ray. 
Miss, uh, Miss Ray is wearing a beautiful low-cut evening gown and is appearing almost in the flesh. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I present Violet Ray, which is certainly a treatment. <laughs> Miss Ray, if you please. I am very happy to be here tonight. And all I can say is that I owe all my success to Slippery Elm Bath Soap. Miss Ray, please. please. Oh, I owe all my success to Canada Dry Ginger Ale sold in large five-glass bottles. There you are, folks, and we didn't even ask her. But you promised me that if I said now, Canada Ray, Dry... Now, Miss Ray, Miss uh, Ray, tell the folks, tell the folks how you accomplished that wonderful flight across the Atlantic. Well... <clears throat> I took a pound of ordinary flour, added some water, and stirred it. Then I simply added the yolks of three eggs and some sugar. That's very interesting. Andrea Marr singing Remember Me. And now let me refresh your memory once more. Uh, some of you may remember during the week of August 1st, we had on our program two of the world's greatest trained dogs who were awarded... Thank you. 